Hey there, and welcome to the Unleash Your Greatness Within podcast. I'm really excited about this little short podcast. I tucked in a lot of little reminders around the law of attraction, and I'm calling it the secrets to the law of attraction because these finite distinctions that I share often go unmentioned. So I hope you enjoy it. And also, let me just say really quickly, thank you for listening to my podcast. Please make sure that you make a comment, a review, or star my podcast. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's jump right into this because it's a good reminder when you think about achieving your goals and your dreams. By the way, you can also watch me give this little message on my YouTube channel at TJ Hoisington. All right, let's jump into it. Hey there, I'm up late and I thought I would just leave you a quick video. You know, years ago, I read a book called As a Man Thinketh. If you have and you enjoyed it, hey, let me know down below. What a great book that was. It's an old classic. Anyway, in that book, he says something at the end of a paragraph about halfway through that most people miss and it has to do with results. And this is what he said. You don't get in life what you want you get in life who you are. In other words, you get in life that which harmonizes with the person you have become. We're not talking about self-worth. What I'm talking about is in an area of a skill or a specific goal, have you developed yourself enough to equal the results that you want. Like attracts like, right? Virtue begets virtue. Charity begets charity. Like attracts like. And so the question is, are you unconsciously dispelling or pushing away the results in your life that you really want because you're not equal to the frequency that would bring that result into your life? I don't know if I can say that much more simple. The reality is you don't get in life what you want. You get in life who you are. So go out there and master your craft. Go out there and develop the skills in the area of your goals. And again, I'm not talking about personal worth. Understand this about personal worth. Your innate worth is not increased or decreased as a result of your level of performance. It's not. You are... God's greatest miracle, regardless of your level of performance. I'm talking about in terms of the marketplace, in terms of achieving tangible results, I'm telling you, you must become that which you are equal to. Okay, that's really important. See, the world, generally speaking, believes in this concept. Have, do, be. Well, once I have it, then I'll be the person that I need to be, right? But the true principle in the laws of success are this. You must first be, then do what it requires, and then you'll have, right? This is critical. You can't say, well, wood stove, I'll give you heat if you put wood in me. That's not how the real world works. The real world works is you must put the effort first. You must act on faith, believing that your steps into the unknown are going to pay off. It takes faith. You know what? I think we do not live on faith enough. You've got to live on faith. You've got to believe in something and then take action and trust that as you plant those seeds and you nourish them, eventually they'll bear fruit, right? It's a pretty simple concept. But sometimes we get so caught up in the evidence of our world that, right, I'll do it when I see it or I'll believe it when I see it. No, 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 here's the reality. You will see it when you believe it, okay? It's a twist, but it's a real twist. And so I'm just gonna invite you today to spend more time working on yourself, to spend more, you know, it was Abraham Lincoln that once said, if I had eight hours to cut down a tree, I would spend six sharpening my ax. Where are you, when no one else is watching, where are you sharpening your ax? Become better all the time. Educate, learn, grow, communicate, visit with people in the area of those 
goals and aspirations that you have and then make sure that you serve along the way. I tell you what, the greatest happiness comes when you can balance achievement with true and honest, sincere service to others. All right, that's my advice for today. I wish you the best. Now go out there and unleash your greatness within.